This is Stefan. He's an 8 year old boy whose life could be much better. He is a tiny, weak, and self conscious person with the knowledge of two grades behind children his age. However, he is also a very compassionate and good hearted boy. Some of you might believe that art comes from the heart, and some of you might think it's about creativity. That is all wrong, alright? Art is what I perceive art as, and you're going to draw whatever I want you to draw. This is Stefan's art teacher, and for some reason, Stefan just can't get on his good side, no matter what. Today in class, you're going to color in this color circle. You're going to use the colors I want, and you're going to do it properly, alright? Begin. Although Stefan did poorly in classwork, he was a fine artist. The drawings he did, however, often ended up in the wrath of his art teacher. What is this? Your paintings are all muddy. You've made a mess. Give me that. Terrible. You've mixed up all the colors. This is a disgrace. And it's always very peculiar to me to see the teacher and how he reacts to Steven. You know, the kid's just so young and he's just trying to draw his painting. He's only, what, eight? It's not fair to an eight-year-old not to have a teacher yell at you like that. It's just not right. And this is Mr. Koza. He was Stefan Sony companion and unlike the art teacher, he appreciated all the artworks that Stefan did. Hey, uh, listen. Well, you know about that kid, right? Yeah, that fool. Well, uh, maybe you should know that he's having a lot of trouble at home. So, well, go a little easy on him, will ya? You know what? I'm not gonna go easy on a student just because he believes that he's above the law. I'm going to teach him the way I want to teach him, and if you don't like that, then you can just keep your mouth shut. Just saying. I want to watch, with, watch the way you're talking to him. Alright. Back to your desk. This is terrible. What the f is this? What the f is this shit? Especially this Stefan kid. He's like the leader of the goddamn League of Idiots or something. You think this is funny? You think this is fun? You think this is good? Uh, if you're gonna pass notes around, at least make them good, alright? This hey, is terrible. Hey, hey! Well, what are you doing? You can't just rip somebody's work up like that. Yes? So, James, why don't you explain to me what happened over there? Well, why don't you specify? Do I really need to specify? Why are you giving that little runt even the smallest amount of your pity? Uh, I'm not giving him pity. <laughs> you're not giving him any pity? You, you're saying you're not giving that little runt any, any pity. You're making a complete jackass out of yourself. You're making a complete jackass out of this whole room. Really? That's right. And you're going to be an unemployed jackass if you don't listen to me and stop doing what you're doing. I want you out of my classroom. That's how this is going to be. That's right. Well, That's exactly how Must I remind you something? The art teacher. That the school hired me to ensure the integration of non-white students. So, that kid over there that you're calling your runt is a non-white student. I'm doing my job. Why don't you start doing yours? really been kind of peculiar actually. For weeks now, Steven's been staying pretty far away from me. I don't really know why. 
I guess we've been uh, caught in the act of friendship. That's kind of stupid, isn't it? Well, maybe he's uh, trying to protect me from getting uh, yelled at by that insane art teacher again. That's odd. Steven hasn't given me a note in weeks now. Let's see what it says. He's written his age here. Eight years old. And his birthday. December 24th. I seem to remember that it came at Christmas. It's kind of rough for a little child. I remember that the art teacher once caught him out back in the hallway in front of a big floor-length coat closet mirror. She grabbed him by the arm and pulled him into the classroom and announced to me and everyone else that he was just standing there and making faces at himself and staring. While she talked, he looked away and examined the floor with his eyes as he did so often, but he was embarrassed by being exposed like that. I thought it was needlessly cruel of her to have called him before the children in such a manner. And surely a little hesitation on her part might have given her a moment to think about what that, while he would feel like. I didn't think it was bad for him to be doing that. Even to be making funny faces it seemed rather normal for a little child to do something like that possibly it was something out of I don't know a desperate act of one certainly something curious but I don't think it was unnatural what did seem to be unnatural was the unusual violence of the art teacher's reaction I don't I don't understand this at all Now, Stefan, why are you curled up in a corner? Makes me think you're like you're a little rat. <laughs> Mr. Curzel? Yeah? I can't be a little rat, because little rats need little tails. <laughs> <laughs>